The API documentation level across your Kubernetes application is not always uniform. It can be applications that you develop yourself according to the best practices there is. It can be applications that you got lazy a bit to want it to move forward, or even you want to move forward even quicker, you use third-party applications that you just have no idea where to get this documentation from. To solve exactly this problem, we developed API Clarity to give you insights of your running applications and the APIs that they are communicating according to. So in order to get you going, you just need to clone the repo. We set you with a nice scripts to dockerize and, and automize all the builds and the deployment. Once you have everything uh, deployed and installed, you just need to choose the namespaces that you are interested in monitoring and getting your API insights from. Yes, and from that point, all your API and even non-API events are uh, monitored in the selected namespaces. API Clarity comes with a sleek web UI when the monitored API activity can be viewed, filtered, and managed. So in the API events screen, you can get insights of all the API and non-API events between the monitored applications. In the API event screen, you can filter the events according to layer 7 properties, and you can visualize the trends using hit counts graphs. So under the hood, each API event is linked to an entry that is created automatically in the API inventory screen that gathers all the API paths for that service. So in this point, we are in a learning phase when we try to reconstruct and gain insights from the traffic that is running in your cluster. So just generate traffic as long as needed during the API specification. This will produce the most accurate spec outputs. After the learning phase comes the review phase. At any point in time, you can go to the automatically generated spec and you can review all our automatic uh, suggestions. The spec reconstruction procedure is not 100% deterministic, so we allow you to review it and modify it as much as needed to give it that human uh, flavor and, and your specific namings. When all the required modifications are done and the spec is reviewed, you just approve it. The reconstructed spec can be immediately viewed using Swagger UI, and we also added a bunch of features to the reconstruction, such as object references, security reconstructions, and file usages. You can also provide your existing API specification to be used alongside the reconstructed spec. Once the specs are in place, you can monitor and observe whether the API events correspond to the set specs, and you can visualize the diffs of the API events versus these set specs. You can detect undocumented API events known as shadow APIs, you can detect deprecated API events known as zombie APIs, you can visualize it all and monitor it in the API Clarity dashboard. So to get all this, just clone the API Clarity repo, deploy it, and you're good to go.